Welcome. You know, what day is it today? You ever, I saw a post yesterday. Is it Sunday or Monday? What day is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As this continues to move and now shifting, we knew Easter was going to be a big pivotal point, shifting into things, getting moving slowly, but surely we got to send a lot more energy that way. It's beautiful. And so, yeah, I don't know how you're all feeling out there, but today is our call-in show, 1-800-930-2819. If you have a question, uh, something you want shifted, something you want moved, you know, it's the time to stay in the heart space. And um, it can be it can be a little bit challenging. I know many of my clients have been saying, Tracy, I feel like I'm in a cage. I feel like I, you know, I've lost my power or lost, you know, things that I can do and my voice and there's a lot of energy flying around right now, a lot. I, oh, sorry, hopefully you didn't hear all that. <laughs> buzzing, buzzing. There's a lot of energy flying around right now that can pull you up and pull you down. And this is what I wanted to talk about today with you and bring some awareness is knowledge versus learning. So right now, while we're in our homes, a lot of people think they're learning by taking in knowledge. So I want to tell you what the difference is because we need both. It's very important to need both. But when you start to navigate around both of these issues going on, you're able to actually get a better grasp of your heart space, your your center and why you're creating. You know, we hear over and over that it's it's time for more heart centeredness to create manifest. You're manifesting 24 seven, like whatever you're in right now, you've manifested, you've created, uh, you know, and it's, it's one of those, those spaces that we need to talk more about so we can take the actions of what's happening. And right now, be gentle to yourself because it is very much like a moving target out there energetically. There's so much information. It's coming towards you. I'll tell you a little bit today, too, why you feel heavier, why you don't feel you know, maybe your jovial self, and then you'll feel really happy one day and down the next day. We'll talk about that too and want to expand that for you. Thank you, God, and move some of that energy in your body. You know, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I had a moment on the weekend where, um, you know, you just felt like doing a little bit of retail therapy. And I looked around, I'm like, I can't buy things online because I don't know if they're going to fit unless it was something I knew. But, you know, and then I realized there's really nothing that I feel like I was just a little bit bored. I'm sure how many of you are feeling that right now? Thank you, God. There's this sort of that expansion, but it's also an energy to want to get back out there and get back into the world. And still being compassionate for the people going through things, but we also have to look at the reality of what's happening. So knowledge right now, if you look at it, your knowledge base, right, is the information you get here. It's the information you get like in our VIP Miraculous Academy, our Life Academy. I give them knowledge every day. I give them the teaching But here's the key. I also give them not only the energetic shift, but I give them the learning. And this is where that comes in is, the learnings of what is the action step you can take. So a lot of times we'll take in all this information and we will just listen to it. Or you'll go on YouTube. How many of you are finding right now? Like you'll go on YouTube and you'll, so a lot of people are going down the rabbit hole, you know, with understanding about the higher ups that, you know, control a lot of what goes on and the different structures in different countries. And, you know, it's fascinating. I know I, I found it very fascinating in 2005 when I learned a lot of this from very high prominent people versus just the internet wasn't like it is now. And then you're deemed as being crazy. But again, it's just information. It floods the brain. It clogs up the brain. And it's good to have the information, but if the information, so the knowledge just sits there, it, it just, it's like a backup in your sewer, right? Like all of a sudden it backs up and it starts to overflow and the body can become very restless. The body can become very discombobulated because it doesn't know what to do, right? Like it's just got this flood of information. That's your knowledge. Learning is very, um, very difficult for people to do actually, because learning, this is why I, I'm so 
in love with the academies that we have. <laughs> if you literally want people that are like your tribe, you don't feel alone. You feel don't feel like you're an outsider. That's a life academy. Why? Because people are like, I need a tribe. I need people that understand me that don't think I'm a weirdo. <laughs> it's great. But it's really, um, the learning is different because when you accumulate the information, you take it in and what did you learn from the information? What did you learn? So one of the challenges I gave our Miraculous Academy was what was their reason for this season? So the season we're in right now, what is the reason for it? Why do you believe we're going through it? And why do you believe, you know, right now you're here at this time? So you got to go within. This is the learning part because when you take the knowledge and you now learn it, you comprehend it, you take an action step. You take an action step. So you say, okay, what is my, what's my reason to be in this season? It's going to be different for everybody. And I have them submit it because they get private access to me, VIP access to me. So it's like, what is your reason for this season? So as they're sending it in, I'm watching it, you know, some are for joy, some are to let go of old patterns and people that are in their lives. Some are to change their career. Some are to open up to, you know, to really letting love in. They all have their different reason as they've been sitting inside. And by looking at that and having that knowledge now, so if you're, you've taken in the information and then you were like, okay, this is my reason. Now that's where the action comes in. So now it's like, all right, I now have the knowledge that I've been sitting in my house all day and my relationship sucks or my work sucks or my you know, financial situation I'm not happy with. I've never been happy with it. So rather than getting in the story, you sit there and you're like, with all the information I've gathered and all the knowledge I've gathered, what have I learned from this? What is my actionable step? And this is how the energy starts moving. Why do so many people stop on their journey because they want to be knowledge junkies. Have you ever met the people? And I, you know, I used to have someone in my life years ago like this great regurgitator could tell you sound amazing, could tell you everything about books and spirituality, whatever sounded great, but there was no applied learning in the world. So lots of people sound amazing because they have all this knowledge, but there's no application. So they haven't learned from it. And this is where the world is changing a lot. And why is there no learned information? And why is this information not taken out? Because it's hard. Because when you learn something new, so it's kind of like my Angela, when you know better, you do better, Right. But it's easier for people to sit there and say, well, I have all this knowledge and information. Don't I sound really, you know, don't I sound so important? But they're not doing anything with it. So when you learn it, now you actually, with the knowledge, there's a difference. People don't want to learn. They really don't want to learn because when you truthfully learn and you listen. So I say this always in my academies, my life academies, when you truthfully learn I cannot go there now and say, okay, now your relationship's going to break up or now I'm going to, you know, get you fired from your job. That's not my job. It's your job to say, I'm in this. I realize I've now taken the knowledge that I need to do something different. So now I've learned something. Follow the trail here. I've learned something. Let's adjust this in your energetic field. So now I am going to do something different with that information I have learned. So think about how many videos how many videos? I always think this is really great. A lot of people say to me, I don't watch the news. I don't like the news. It is fake news. I, I get some people don't like the term, but energetically, I can tell you it's very skewed to somebody's point of view or who owns the network. So I don't like the news, but people say to me, I don't watch the news. I do not like the news. And I'm like, great, but they'll watch every YouTube video and every little thing out there that is Con it's congruent with the news. So you have to look at what information you're bringing in and it just keeps plugging up the brain. So where are you ready to let go of the information out of the brain that does doesn't serve you anymore? And that's why like when I look at the news, that is not knowledge. Do you really need to know like what happened on something? Like think about all the news stories in your whole life. How many of them truthfully affected you? How many of them truthfully created change? How many, they gave you knowledge, 
but they didn't give you, you didn't learn anything from it. You just plugged up more information in the brain but you didn't learn. Learning is not easy. It is not like when you go to school and you get, you know, you have to, memorizing is not learning. So how many times, how many times did you memorize for an exam? You write them all down and and it is proven. It is proven that people will, if you memorize, you know, a couple of nights before you can write the exam, you'll forget it all. That's why you're done. You're like, oh, I got it. Oh, I learned that information. Did you learn it and apply it? Or did you just memorize it and move along? Again, that's it's in the knowledge camp. That's in the knowledge camp. So I hope you're really, really following what I'm saying here. I know we're going to get to Monica right away on, um, on the line. But just give me another minute. If you want to call in 1-800-930-2819, if you'd like something shifted. But I just, I want to just sit with this for you for a minute. Because all of that, again, is just information that came and went. How many of you go through your, your school days? How much information did you bring in that you learned and applied? Learning is difficult for people. Most people think they've learned it moved along, but learning means there's application. Learning means you've had change in your life. Learning means you're doing things differently. And this is very, very, very important for our time of change and transformation right now. We are moving into unprecedented times. Look at even if you follow anything. I love, I love following things going on in the world energetically, politically, financially, not in terms of watching too much of it, but the energy to see where it's moving. And I have said for a long time, we're in the dismantling of big governments and financial structures that haven't worked, that have kept people very poor. And, you know, all of this, these systems that do not work, schooling, right? Schooling gives you a lot of knowledge, but it doesn't teach you anything. Really, it teaches you a little bit if you apply it to learn, but really, does it teach you how to function in the world? No. Does it teach you how to deal with your emotions? No. Does it teach you how to stand up for yourself? No, it teaches you how to conform, how to be a little sheeple. That's what it does. And it's programming. So you got programming and news. You got programming. There's a difference. Programming, knowledge, and learning. Do you see where the energy gets so mixed up in the body and why people are having a hard time during this transition? So things are changing. We don't want them to be like they were before but they're going to look a little bit creepy over till the end of next year, probably a lot creepy. And then we're going to have to clean more out over the next seven or eight years. But here's the cool thing is as we learn information, as we learn it and apply it and help other people apply it, your body becomes free. Did you also know that all that knowledge that's clogging up your brain also gets stuck in your system, in your body, creating sickness, illness, and diseases. So just so you're aware of that. I also want to, with knowledge and learning, let's use the the 5G networks. For example, a lot of people have a lot of knowledge around all this technology. All the technology creates radiation. It just does. That's just a fact. But all of this technology. So people say, what can I do? What they're doing is they're cramming their head with knowledge but they're forgetting. I did this video this morning for my Miraculous Life Academy is um, I showed them and was teaching them that if your heart frequency, if your heart frequency is higher and moving higher than the brain that's being clogged up, did you know you can start to energetically, because everything's a frequency, cancel out what's happening on the negative front of your body. Just think about this for a minute. Why do, why is there no learning about the heart drive, which I love to teach in the heart frequency, because when you really learn that, this is the information a lot of people don't want you to know, because if you understand how the heart drive works, the frequency of the heart, it can clean out all that crappy knowledge that's been, you know, pushed into your brain and it can actually rise above and cancel out these frequencies from bombarding your system. This is information, you know, we just forgot. So, you know, that is, I love teaching people how to understand and then we move the energy of the body. So what do you have too much knowledge of? But when you went to learn, you didn't apply. And a lot of times, look in your day. I want to challenge you if you're listening. Look in the day. How much information did you take in and then where did you go apply it? Where did you apply it? So today, 
you could say, how much information do I have in there that I need to dump out of my brain that's clogging it? And what do they truthfully learn and that I can actually apply in my world today so I can make a difference? Because it's that vibration that's going to keep us moving out of this planetary garbage that we're in and this slavery that we've been in forever. And then people say, well, I'm not, we're not slavery. Sure you are. Because if you can't have freedom of how you feel in speaking and you're told to do something without all the correct information, a lot of misinformation, you're just following toting the line. So these, it's just a different way. It's an energetic slavery that's being released off of the planet, being released off of the planet, but we still have a long ways to go. Okay, so I want to make sure before we get to the bottom of the hour, I hope you really got that. I'm going to talk a little bit more. And I, um, Zach, uh, do we have Monica you said on the line? Yes, we have Monica from Carlton Place. Monica, you are on the Tracy L. Clark Show. Hi, Monica. Hi, Tracy. Can you hear me? I can. Perfect. Oh, great. Thank you so much for taking my call. This is absolutely perfect synchronicity because I'm calling for exactly what you were just saying. I'm calling um, to request a strengthening if it's possible because it's the action step. I've got all the knowledge but not applying it, like left to my own devices, taking the power from within, taking the connection, like doing it like with God, of course, but do you know what I mean? Like just Ah, the action step. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so what's the biggest? I, I'm going to start to move this with you. I can see the heart drives ready to actually make a leap. What's the fear of the change? What comes up right away when I say that? So when you take an action step, what's the biggest fear that comes up right now? Oh, the heart feels like it's going to release. So sorry if it feels a little funny right now. What's the biggest fear that comes up when you look at saying, I'm going to take that action step? That I'm going to be alone. Yeah, it's loss. It's actually bang on. It's coming up as as loss. So if I take these action steps, I lose. So this is now, now truthfully. Okay, well, actually truthfully, because I have strength in the field. Thank you, God. We're going to do some adjustments here. When you look around in the environment, is that a true statement that you're going to be alone? It's it's not true at all. It's the story that I've plugged into. So what if that story Previously. was just the frequency that is ready to move out of the heart drive? How does that feel? So the feels sto- floaty. <laughs> yeah. So the story was just and a nervous. frequency. Yeah, a frequency because the frequency now is changing. Because actually what you know is you have more support than ever before. So now you're all quirky, weird, like the rest of us. And that's to be embraced. Whereas before you see it wasn't embraced. So that's the part I'm going to disconnect where to be quirky and weird and empowered wasn't to be embraced in your environment. But now you see that all the people you're surrounded with are quirky and weird. And we love that because that's what empowers us. So can you feel that new frequency? Yes. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I feel is, like really optimistic. Yes. Okay. So what is the next, what is the number one thing you would like to take action on right now? Um, actually my, my home environment, the whole um, idea of getting that in order so that it's, it, 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 so that it serves. Okay. Cause right now it doesn't right now I built this wall of yeah. crap around okay. me. <laughs> Literally. Exactly. So here's your action step. And this is what I'll strengthen and I'll clean it. I'll open some energy out of the house. We'll feng shui it energetically. Thank you, God. So your actions appear with the information. Now, this is beautiful of learning to move forward. It shows 10 minutes a day. I want you to move something out of your home or into a different place. So it either goes into the box or goes into the garbage. Okay. 10 minutes a day. That's it. But what you're going to find, because I can see it, you're going to get going And you're going to go, oh my God, I just spent 60 minutes. And that's where you go, yes. And when you do the 10 minutes, you're like, that's also a celebration. It's only 10 minutes. You celebrate that energy as you do it. And when you take something out of the home, thank it. 
thank it for serving you for being there and thank it now that it's leaving, whether it's going to someone else or it's going in the garbage, it's leaving. But it also shows that you need to start with your, your, the mo what's your most favorite room in your house? Um, my, I have a, a bedroom that's all mine. And that's my, but I don't know if that's good or bad because that's where I escape to. No, no, that's fine. No, we all need a place. We need a place. My office is my place. Like, come on. I love in that space. So what I want you to do is start in that room and look around and you're going to make it even more amazing. So anything that needs to go, anything that needs to be adjusted, you're going to go there. Then I want you to make a list. These are your actionable steps. You're going to make a list of when this room is finished what is going to be the next room? Now, don't hold yourself to the list. So put maybe just three rooms on the list, but you might change it because what will happen, and people don't understand this, when you move the energy of that one room, your second one may have been the kitchen, but now you're like, no, I need to go in the living room. It just feels that. I want you to follow that feeling because as you actually follow that, it's sort of like um, I'm going to be teaching people on Friday about like, how when we move into our missions, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I need a business plan. Why that's kind of getting outdated because they're not following the energy. So what we want to do is have you follow your energy. So you'll start in that space and then look at your list and say, okay, I said kitchen, but no, I got to go to the living room, cross out kitchen and go living room. So this will change because I'm going to strengthen it for you, the energy of what's happening in your system. How does that feel? That feels perfect. Literally perfect. Yeah, I love it. So you'll keep me posted, right? Yeah, oh, 100%. And I'll see you on Friday. <laughs> All right, lots of love. Have an incredible day. <laughs> love to you as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. See, this is exactly what I say. And I love the synchronicities there. What Monica was saying is that um, we really need to embrace what we are learning and then realize like, is that a fear? Like truthfully, is that really a fear? And uh, quite often we, we take and hold on to information, all the knowledge and information. So knowledge also comes from experiences, right? So we've had the experiences, they sit in that data bank that plugs up the brain. So it's like we were saying, did you know, a lot of people don't know this. I talked about this today in uh, my academies is that, the information, one of the reasons why a lot of these networks or people are understanding and they're putting it to the health space, but I want to give you guys a little tip here before we go to break, and then we're going to come back with Jessica, is that um, that information is meant to manipulate and lower your frequency through your brain. So if you have 5G network stuff like that, that's what it's supposed to do is to lower the brain's frequency, and that allows manipulation through the brain. So it allows a lot of manipulation, but a lot of lower negative energies like news and stuff like that, that's what they do. They manipulate into the brain, into the knowledge, into the thought form. Then they get you thinking and then you're in the spirit of distraction. Thank you, God, we're going to remove that. So the spirit of distraction, and this can happen in any of your life. I'm just using something that's common for people. This becomes a spirit of distraction, which then allows the frequency to drop which then allows a lot of energy to come through to manipulate. So this is again, why your greatest tool is to understand. So I love to teach you all in the life academies is to understand your heart drive. I've always called it the heart drive because the heart drive is the frequency that will transform everything, everything. So I want to encourage you check out our life, our life academies, tracealclark.com under the on it's online. Everything's online because we have people from all over the world. But if you really want to be, you know, having that acknowledgement, that, that special treatment, meeting people that are just like you, that you may have felt where you were a misfit, I know as a misfit, you're going to find them all there, you know, learning how to empower yourself and how to change your frequency on the fly. So you can use it if you have other modalities you work with, but that's not what I'm about. It's about teaching you how to use and move your energy on the fly. So if you're in a meeting or you're driving down the street and you can become very, very empowered and you become a bigger creator. So if you're not liking certain things in your life right now, I want to encourage you to understand what is the knowledge and what are you really ready to learn? And are you ready to take action steps on that? And I'll teach you how. However, you got to do it. I, I, I can't walk it through. I had to learn to do it myself. You got to do it yourself. So um, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to be right back with Jessica. And then we have Sophie on the line. So hopefully we'll get to everybody. So ask yourself on the break, 
what do you have a lot of knowledge in? What are you learning? And which one would you prefer to be in right now? We'll see you right after the break. Welcome back. Okay, I hope you took over the break to learn knowledge, learning. Learning is the part that sucks. Well, you always hear me say I had to relearn everything I'd learned because everything I learned wasn't true. Then I had to relearn it. It was hard. It was not easy. If anyone tells you waking up is easy, they are lying. It is tough, but there is a glory space on the other side that is beautiful because you start to live and walk in a world that is in alignment with your heart, not your head. Big difference. All right. Zach, we have Jessica on the line. Yeah, we have Jessica from Ottawa. You are on the Tracy O. Clark Show. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Thanks so much for taking my call. You're amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> We're all in this together. Yeah. We're working up that ladder. Yeah, no, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> What's your um, question? I, sorry, I have a little interference. That's okay. Um, okay. So I, I, um, I love our, your discussion today because uh, I've come to realize a couple of months ago that my current career is probably not the best place for me. <laughs> and I I feel energetically that there's a bit of a control. Um, maybe there's a control energy that affects my reproductive system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from my current place of work. And until I can pivot out of there and into a new career, mm -hmm. how can I shield myself from that? Yeah, because you know your reproductive area is your power zone. So that's our career, that's children, that's our financial flow. A lot of people don't realize that, but that comes, that's a basic understanding of the reproductive. And you're very right. There's also some of the energy that I can move out for you. It looks like um, it's a spirit of subordination that's been in your field for a lot of lifetimes. So it's like a past life energy showing up now. So where the body, you know, different now because you're very awake compared to where you were before, like in other lifetimes. Um, but there's an under, so it's like an underlining current. So while you're there, you can also feel, you feel all that manipulation in your body, don't you? Yeah. So, okay. So let's remove that first because that's a spirit of subordination. So it's basically, if you step out of line, there's going to be a repercussion that runs underneath. So it's just an energy that's running on the subconscious so we can start to remove. Hang on a second. Let's pull this up. Now, when you actually are at work, what's the number one frustration? Uh, probably that I have uh, come to a standstill. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hang or maybe on. lack of respect. Yeah, there's well that's and that's some manipulation. So okay, so there's certain words that you can you can um use while you're discussing and you can see because here's the thing that's gonna change. As things get busier for a little bit and over the next couple of years, as we change out of this really weird uh release and breakdown of systems we're in, you're gonna see you have a lot of people that you seem to surround yourself with that come with your work environment that are not really honest and that you, you know that, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what you can start to use is the words like this to just move yourself out. So first we can pivot you to something different. I like how you were saying you're ready. You know, you know, you're ready to actually leave a lot of these old energies so we can cut some of the cords off that you can say things like, and it's going to sound weird at first, but you can go like, truthfully, is that really what you require right now? Sounds weird, but what will happen is keep the energy also off you to give you an actionable step while you're actually moving out. This, this, but this, this environment for you has been literally must be eating you up over a lot more over the last six months because it looks like you really disconnected in the last six months. Yeah, very much. Yeah, you, you can see, you just were like, and, and it was about six months ago, you had this surge of new energy going, what the heck? Like, this is not for me. <laughs> like, it's like, it really started to rise. Yeah. So, this is cool be because when the, career, the energy, <laughs> yeah, when the energy <laughs> rises in the body like that, that's your body now saying, let's take the information we have and move into this other direction. So 
if I said to you, what would be your perfect, not your dream space, but a space that would be beautiful, that would make you want to spring out of bed in the morning, what would that look like? See, that's where I struggle. <laughs> mm-hmm. Something that allows me to work around my children's schedule and gives me more free time to focus and and grow myself. Because yes. I love helping people. Yeah, you like um, to so serve, to and that's, that's a big part of the system that's awakening. And so what we can do is start to align, because it actually looks like there's some, okay, there's two or three things that, like, they look like doors the way they showed me that we can start to open up that actually moves you out of where you are, that gives you greater flexibility. But it's also what we need to do is be very clear right now in the frequency of what we would like. That's so you have your children you want to be able to be in alignment with and be, you know, home more. We've got to raise that energy and then also more into alignment with people that see you for who you are and what you're actually doing, because that's the big thing that's missing. That gets you out of bed when people actually recognize you for the incredible gifts you're bringing. Because you don't have that right now. No. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. So if you're okay, I want to increase that frequency. And what I'd like you to do for that learning of all those spaces, and I'm going to, the reproductive is going to start to clean out. So it might feel a little funny just because when you cut cords out of the reproductive area tied, especially in the power zone to our work, sometimes you can get cramping. Sometimes people tell me, oh, you know, my cycles change or it's just a lot of different things will happen in the body because it becomes free. Right. So um, discharge, stuff like that. So sorry to be more, but it does happen. So that power zone can be stronger. So what I'd like you to do is now just really look at what are the three or four things energetically, because we're going to change the frequency that I want to feel when I'm in that new position that actually get me out of bed, get me out of bed. Cause you look like you're going to eventually be moving to more collaborations with people, which would look like more self more self-directed, more self-employment of your own. So I, if you're okay, I'd like to set that up, but there's still stability there. So don't, don't get worked up on the how right now, okay? How does that feel? It's a little heavy around my waist, but... Yeah, it's because like it's lifting. <laughs> yeah, it's lifting and the body's like, oh, I need to free from this. Because the heaviness around the waist is also will lift this off. It's like a rope being tied to you. And that's been what's dragging you, right? It's that energy that's been heavy, that's been dragging your physical body around basically under this. And I said it earlier, this sort of slavery space of just, okay, do I really want to exchange my time for money this way, right? Rather than doing it in a way that serves you. Hi, Maggie, you agree. Right. How does that feel now? That's better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just sit in that and then let me know how, how it's moving and, and feel free to call in any time, okay? Great. Thank you so much, Tracy. You're welcome, sweetheart. Have a great day. <laughs> Thanks. You too. Much love to you all. Lots of love. All right, Zach, we have Sophia. Maggie just popped up. If you're on my screen, she's adamant she's going to be on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sophia. Sophia. Sophia from Toronto. You are on the Tracy L. Clark Show. Hi. Can you hear Hi, me? Hi, Sophia. How are we today? Good. I'm actually I'm not great. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to say, I don't think you're great. Here we are. Okay. Maggie wants to be um, part of it so much. She she just popped yay. in, so I'm going to give you some extra love. <laughs> um. So I'm just feeling um with work, there's a lot of um, yeah. pressure on me right now um, mm-hmm. to do things that are not within um, like a like I'm not permitted or authorized to do and they're moving forward providing a service that outside of Ontario and Canada wide that we can't we can't support um, and despite I'm just not being heard um, as the manager and the lead and I'm trying to um, say like we can't support this um, but I'm not being heard and I'm getting a lot of pressure and, and pushback and it's causing me to have severe, like I'm shaking and I'm like really upset and, and like feel very anxious. And I don't like, I know work has like, I was supposed to ramp down and go part time because it's, the energy there is just not aligned. Um, but because of everything that's happening, that I, I can't ramp down at this point and I just don't know what to do to help me stay well at the same time and not allow it to affect my body. 
Can I ask you, it looks like there's ethical boundaries being crossed in your field, so your boundaries, and then also there's a few things that don't add up, so I don't, you know, but it's also, um, and the, the, the ethical space, there's a lot of reasons here, you can see with tentacles that actually go back to not, I think what you're picking up, and you can tell me how this feels, is that it's, it's more about the money than the patient. Do you pick that up? Do you see that? Oh yeah, hundred percent. That's exactly what it is. And it's, I'm it's trying more to be sensitive money. here. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, there's some ethical lines there, but it's about, oh, we can make all this money versus the patient. So okay, that's why you're feeling torn because you've also taken an agreement and a vow to work and be in the highest and best interest for the people you serve by connecting to the God consciousness versus a me mentality. And that's a me mentality. How does that feel when I say that? feels really like gross. Yeah, it's gross because you know it's a me mentality. But can you see how that's why it's creating conflict? Because you've taken that agreement to serve versus putting yourself first? Yeah, but we're you asking feel? to serve in a greater capacity that's not within our jurisdiction, like what we're allowed to yep. do. And we're exactly. trying to tell them that. And it's like, well, you're on board or you're out. And I've had to let few people go basically they've had to resign that were on my team because they ethically knew it was wrong and mm -hmm. now I'm I'm realizing like this is really wrong and it's just yeah. not my body is like literally shaking like I can't get it to stop shaking yeah because your body is very responsive to when you're feeding something that is that is in the dark it would be like um it would be the same I try to give people analogies so they can see if I so I made a commitment to serve God at all costs and let go of everything else. And it's not always the most popular choice, but that would be like if I went all of a sudden and worked for the pharmaceutical companies, my body would have a massive reaction because it doesn't align with what I've taken my agreement to do right now. I'm not, I'm not knocking them in the sense I get there's some people listening. Don't take that the wrong way, but I'm not in alignment to that for my, because of my history. So my, do you see what I'm saying? So you're not in that alignment anymore. So this is that hard choice that we can start to structure is truthfully, we have to come to terms with how long you want to be to continue to serve their agenda. So see, like when I say I, I would be serving the pharmaceuticals agenda, if I became a part of some pharmaceutical rep to make money, right. And I don't believe in that agenda. So I would be selling my soul to the devil is how I would put it, right? And I don't want to sell my soul to the devil. I want to stay connected to God. So sometimes we make these hard choices. So what part of that scares you to make the hard choice to say, I'm able to do this for you, but I can't do that because it crosses my ethical boundaries? Um, just the fact that I fear of like being fired and let yeah, go of, to see you later. and then yeah. financial. So what if they said, see you later, and you got to create something better? Yeah, I mean, it's, I know deep down inside the answer is for me to go. Um, but it's financially, I just, I wanted to do it slowly. And that's why I was going to ramp down the part time to allow me to focus on my own thing. To like, and help more patients. And so but, what if we come into um, letting go then of all the stories, and I can strengthen you to just say, this is what it is at this time, but I'm on my way out. How does it feel when I say that? You got to talk to your body that way. A lot better. Yeah, this is just right now. Because what you're doing is taking it and you're trying to create even more energy tentacles out there around more of the stories. But it's like, okay, I can do this for you at this time. But body, we're going to do this at this time. And you can tell them I can do this for you. But this is all I can do right now. And still make sure that you are following in your the best that you can in your truth. And then we bridge that to say, but body, this is just, just right now, but I'm now moving into something different. So we have to start to now, the way that you can counteract that with the learning to create that is start to say, what is it going to look like for me to leave here? So we leave the story of the money. We leave the story of the people. Thank you, God. I'll restructure this. I'll pull all this energy out. And then what does it look like for me to leave here. So what's my first actionable step? So the first actionable step, which we can strengthen 
would be to start to really be creative of what would it look like to set up my own dream build it a bit because while you're dream building and you're in that environment and you're dream building going, okay, I don't really like this, but this is where I'm dream building. And you start to pull that energy in that will help release the negativity out of the body because it'll start to override the dream building of where you're going to and dissipate the energy of what the company you're in is right now. How does that feel when I say that now? Yeah, I mean, it gives me inspiration. I think, like, I was, I was feeding into the energy of the, like, like you said, the negativity, and just like feeling like I'm stuck in something that I don't want to do. And I mean, if I, if I can just get through the next few weeks until I go part time, like, just I frequency. can manage that. But I just don't just want my frequency. body to be adversely affected. Yeah. So just say it's a frequency. We're going to choose something different right now. I'm not going to feed into this frequency. So when you, when you realize that, thank you, God, and then do the reset, let go, it'll be, this is just a frequency. I'm going to move higher than it. So similar to how I was saying, when you have the frequency of all radiation and EMFs and people go nuts, well, it's like, okay, you're giving that frequency, that vibration of the energy. So if you move the frequency higher through the heart drive, then what happens is the frequency raises, it counteracts that and it doesn't affect you anymore and it won't affect the physical body. But when I, and the problem is like when I try to, like I saw the video from the miraculous today and it was really helpful, but sometimes I feel like, like I told you about the thoughts, like the negative intrusive yeah. thoughts that I have, but um, like sometimes I find that even when I'm trying to connect to my heart drive, like those thoughts yes. intensify in those yes. moments and then I Be go into fear and I try not to feed yes. it. Um, yes. Or I'll just say light, 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 but I don't know what to do when, especially in these times, these fears and these thoughts have have yes. been attacking me at night. Yes. The day, so that's where you have to go in and really look and say, truthfully, is this truth or is my frequency higher? Ask yourself the question and then you can start to pull down. Thank you, God. You start to pull down the energy out. So I would go in there because they come for a spirit of distraction. So when you start to remove the spirit of distraction, and say, truthfully, am I, I'm only here for this many weeks. So why am I giving it that much attention? And then it's that energy that starts to eat up the field. So we then that's where you also, you put on something that feels high vibe. You listen to something high vibe. You either put in some music. You Anything that is will higher the frequency to make you feel better will quickly dissipate the parasitical energy that attacks the brain. And right now it's higher and it's with where you're in. So we don't want to give the work energy any frequency at all. We want to pull that down, just say, I'm just here to move through this. Yeah, I'll do that. No, I can't do that. It's a yes and no thing. Yes, I'll do that. No, I can't do that. Yes, I'll do that. No, I can't do that. And just move through it. It's like as if you're going down the rapids, you have to stay a steady course. So you have to stay in your lane to stay a steady course. How does that feel now if I adjust that into the, into the system to override the heart to the brain? It feels a lot calmer. Like I have, yeah. I, I can do yeah. this. Like, I think I was yeah. running to, I need to quit. I need to do this. I need to do no. that. And no, then I stay in, in your boat. <laughs> stay in your boat. You're going to the rapids, but you're almost at the end. So when you go and rapid sailing or when you're in the rapids, you're almost at the end. So then let me know how that and feels. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Really Lots of love. It. Bye, sweetheart. Lots of love. Okay. Bye. All right. We have a few seconds left here. Let's see if we can get Erica in. <laughs> All right, we got Erica from London. You are on the Tracy L. Clark Show. Oh. Hi, Hi, Erica. Oh, just a second. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We had a few more minutes. I said, let's squeeze her in. <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. You've just been actually, I've been listening to what you've been saying. I've sort of been thinking my head is full of knowledge, absolutely full, crammed. <laughs> um, Let's start to swirling. open that and drain it. <laughs> swirling a lot of the times. And at the moment, what you're saying about like knowledge and learning and applying, I'm teaching um, high school students from home right now. And that yes. is my challenge. I don't want to just give them knowledge. I want them to be able to apply their learning. And that's my, that's my challenge right now. Yeah. And partly what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain some of the knowledge out of the brain. Thank you, God. I'm going to strengthen your system here and remove. So you actually have a very intuitive or a chills gift of how to, you have a fear of actually giving them applicable steps because it looks like it steps a little bit outside the curriculum. 
So, if you, <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because, I want to be able to do this like body regen stuff. I want to wake them up, but how yes, do I do it within the yes. Comfort? Yes. So start with a very simple tool. This is what I love to teach people. So with kids, and you'll love it because part of our initiative fund, we're going to be developing over the next year. And we've it's been our dream to really get all this information, body regen for free to as many kids as we can and into schools, right? Because it's so important yeah. they learn. So what I would suggest as teaching is saying, okay, now you've learned ABC here. Okay. This is what you've learned. How can we apply that in the world? And it looks like, because you're very good with your language, I would start, you know how you always hear me talk about our words and our language. You can actually start yeah. right there by saying, if we you know, listen to how we speak and start adjusting some of their words, if you say it this way, you're going to get a better result. Um, and yeah. what it has to be is we have to seed it. So with kids in the school system, I'm going to open you to be really strong in your hard drive to seed the information to them. So it means little bits at a time. And then you can see the students start to grab yeah. more towards you because they realize they're actually creating and getting the results that you're telling them. So just say, so, um, what would be one of your favorite subjects they teach? Oh, I'm doing... I'm doing living things at the moment. I'm teaching them about viruses. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Teaching, oh, perfect. Yep. So what would be one of the best actionable steps when they learn about the virus? What would be one of the best actionable steps that they could take out with them that you haven't told them yet to have better prepare? Well, what I want to teach them is I want to teach them about viruses and so tell them like how powerful their bodies are that yes. um, our bodies have all the information to be able to fight these things. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be really controversial and say, no, you shouldn't take any, you know, medications no. or anything like that. And I don't want to say anything, you know, about this virus. Well, I'm going to... Nope, nothing. So here's what you do is you say, have you ever thought of the possibility to look at how strong your body can actually be just by communicating yeah. and talking to it? It hears everything. So we have all these viruses that are out there. But sometimes our body feels fear, our body feels love, right? So we can start to readjust it to say, do you know when you're in fear, your nerve system, your stress gets really inflamed, which attracts more, but your body knows what to do. So if we're really stressed and we're nervous and we're in fear, we're going to, the body weakens, the immune system weakens, which then can attract yeah. viruses. Do you see how you can move it around? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah really. You know, I'm getting like so many ideas. Just as you were talking to, um, I think it was Jessica just now, I realized that um, because I've been listening and I've watched the video and stuff this morning, I just started wow. to get inspired. I'm creating all, this, all these little activities for them to do right now. Exactly. So I want to strengthen yeah. you, and I'm going to, I'm just adjusting some information in the brain. So the creative thoughts, write them down because it looks like you're going to have a lot and start seeding that in and rewatch this if you need to just to listen again. Seed it again and let me know how the kids are doing. You're going to do brilliant. Do not yeah. worry. I'm getting rid of that information around stepping out of the box. We do it gently. We seed it. We don't just jump yeah. out there and say, here we are. Know, or they come so and crazy. find us and get rid of us. No, really we don't want that. We seed it very, very gently. And I can keep teaching you guys how to seed. Yeah. It's brilliant. <laughs> I'm good? Yes, thank you. Oh, good sugar. Thank you. So much Thank love, you. Erica. Please let me know. Keep me posted how that goes. Let's keep changing the kids' lives. I'm so blessed and honored you called in. You know what, everybody? It's I can't believe we're at the top of the hour. We've had incredible guests today. Check us out, TracyLClark.com. Come to the uh, check out the uh, Body Regen Online Life Academy, especially if you're really ready to sort of be VIP at the front of the line and get real good attention from me. That's what the Miraculous Academy is about. But if you're tired of being a misfit and you want to learn, just like we were saying with Erica, learn how you can seed information in your life. We don't have to be the ones on the, on the soapbox screaming and yelling. You don't have to be those people going, ah, but we can take our energy, seed things into people to help them awaken and become more empowered. So if you're ready to take that and become empowered and really learn, get rid of the knowledge, just thank that Hannah God right now. Let's start to dump all the knowledge. Let's get rid of it on every level and every layer and use the knowledge combined with learning. Don't be afraid to learn because learn is, learning is more difficult. We can help you. That's what I do. I put you so you can be an empowered misfit, <laughs> just like I was not so many people. And you can really have that hands-on attention. And we have a lot of fun.
we meet two hours a week right now. We have lots of great things. We have fun to teach you. And if you take all of that and you apply it, watch how empowered you are because you connected to the hand of God, you will change mountains and you don't have to be the loudest voice in the room to do it. I love you all. I will see you all next week. And next week, we're going to talk a little bit about fear versus love right now and everything that's going on and how you can shift through that. And again, I'm going to let you call in and then we're going to bring some guests on over the next couple of weeks here. So lots of love, having a great week guys. And I'll see you right here at the Tracy L. Clark show next week. Same time, same place.